Hey, Anthony. Oh, hey, Anthony. This is Stephen from the corporate office with Petco. Hi. Hi. Um, I just, uh, we're, we're doing an improv troupe here in town tonight, and I just need um, you and two other employees to come and be in my improv troupe. Uh, it starts Ooh. at 7 tonight. At 7? Okay. Yes, and we're going to be up on stage. We're going to be doing improv comedy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, one second. And they're going to pay us, but you guys don't get a part of the pay because you're new. I'm going to keep all the money. <laughs> okay, one, one second. All right, are you getting other employees together? Uh, yeah. Who? Which ones? Because I don't want it to be Chad. No, oh, no, there's no Chad here. <laughs> okay, one second. Thank God. I, I, <laughs> you guys, I don't know what to do. He, he's doing it. What am I supposed to do? He's supposed to get mad and be like, what the hell? I'm not going to be in your improv troupe. It's weird. This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Whoa, are, are you angry with me? No, I'm not angry with you. Oh, What's just, going on? When you said that, it's, it's, like, it's like you were barking it at me. Get it? Get it? <laughs> nope. like, what can I do for you? Um, no, I was talking to, um, what was that guy before? Anthony? Anthony, yep. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm calling from the corporate office with Petco. I just need you and him and one, one other employee to be in my improv troupe tonight. We're going to be up on stage. Where? At, at the theater. What theater? Uh, I don't even know offhand. I'm flying in from... from uh, well, it says here something, your caller ID says something restaurant. A restaurant? That's what it says. What, what number does it show? Unavailable restaurant. Unavailable <laughs> restaurant. Or no, wait, it says Tyler something, well, it's flashing something. Oh, that's probably so who's you're from calling corporate? on the other You're from corporporate, Petco yeah. corporate. Yes, yes, this is Steve Dave. I'm, I'm just flying in. Uh, and um, th we're doing an improv troupe tonight at a theater. I, I hooked this all up on meetup.com. And um, we're going to be on stage, and we're getting paid and everything. Well, I'm getting paid. I'm not passing along the money, though. So it's going to be me, you, Anthony, and what other employee could come tonight? Uh, Anth Anthony, no, 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 no. no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. We don't know anything about this, and I'm not sure who you are. Oh, this is Steve Dave you, you know, from what? the corporate office with Petco. I don't know who you are. I just told um, you. How about you want to talk to a store manager? Because I don't oh, think you oh, no. are who you say you are. No, There's no. There's nobody that, doing an improv. Well, no, at the theater. You just don't know about it because you're, you're uh, uncultured. What do you mean I'm uncultured? I've been at this. Bi I've been working for Petco for 20 years. No, I mean get out of Petco every once in a while. Go to, go to the theater. See a show occasionally. Um, you know what? Why don't you hold on a second? Because... Uh, I'm going to put you to the store manager. We'll set this straight oh, right no, now. No, the store manager doesn't like me, so I, I would just prefer to stick uh, with well, you. Well, Chad and isn't Anthony. here anymore. Chad? Yeah. What uh, store manager doesn't want... What do you no. mean a store... If you're from corporate, I don't believe you would be talking to me like this. Like what? Just asking you for a favor to come and be you're, my improv? You're, you're, no. Why don't you come clean with me who you really are? No, it would be fun. And then it we'll would be tell you if we want to come to the theater with you. It would be a good time tonight. You get to be up on stage, and we get to do improv but comedy. Okay, okay, that's and fine. I like improv and stuff, but why don't you tell me who you really yeah, are? Are you good at it, though, is what I'm keep wondering. No, 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 no. Tell me but who you are. Th you are is, not with corporate. No, Admit it. I, I am with corporate. I'm with the corporate office. You, I've been with the company no, for not. 14 not years now. Not with my corporate office, not with Petco. No. It's not your corporate office. It's been, my corporate office. Not with my company. I'm the one that what signs corporate the corporate office. Is, I, yes, but you're not Petco. I am too. I sign your paychecks. Look, look on, pull out a paycheck oh, right now. Oh, bull. BS. No, look at you it. You sign I, my paycheck. I sign every paycheck. Okay. Manually. Okay. Look, look at it. What names it got no, on there? You do, you do not. You are so full of it. You're full and of if it. If you would come clean with me, I would be clean with you whether we want to go do your improv. You but know what? you're not going to be honest I, you know with what? me on who you are. You know what? I don't want you in my improv now. Like You, you can go Good. suck a dick. Okay? Put, so, an, put Anthony back oh, on. That, that's it, Petco. Petco just told me to suck a dick. You're that's wonderful. Right. That's Thank right. Thank you, you. Bye. No, put Anthony. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. 
Snow plow show. Snow plow show. Okay, bitch. Snow plow show. Roy. W- what? R- Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. <laughs> Turnwinder. Okay. Go, 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 shaw, go, 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 who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. Oh, my wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. asshole. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. Like this, bitch, asshole, and don't fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Heard of Fucked her? in the ass. You're listening to the Snowplow Show for August 2nd, 2019. I'm your host, Brad. This is episode 575, and it's brought to you by Gobi and Brown Magic. I regret jumping Serial Shitter and Jason B. Those are a few of the people who are supporting the show currently at patreon.com slash losers. Thanks, everybody, for doing that. I have a very important announcement. I'm working on a brand new archive of prank phone call shows and albums. It's going to be a torrent again, just like the 2014 version, which is still up. It's still available at phonelosers.com slash torrents. And I'm trying to update it because I have a lot of new stuff since then. And I'm working with MC Lars. He's going to send me a ton of his old prank call cassette tapes from the 90s. A lot of things I've never even heard of. Back then, we used to all trade prank call tapes with each other in the mail because this whole internet thing was kind of new and we didn't do audio on it yet. So I'm gonna have those, I'm gonna have a bunch of new stuff from my own collection, and I wanna add as many show archives as I possibly can. You know, like all the Snowplow shows, all the Madhouses, all the Dwight the Janitor shows, just everybody's show, everyone that's been doing shows. If you wanna figure out a way to send me archives of your stuff and it's mainly a prank call show, you can send me links or whatever at show at snowplowshow.com. I will try to get it all added to the archive. I think I'm going to do two archives, one of just albums and then one of albums and shows because holy crap, the shows one is going to be huge. I have a bunch of old stuff to put in there like the Brent Westwood show and the art of phone larking, the prank show and the fun show, and I've got the entire archive of Neon Nights. By the way, she's back apparently. I was just talking to her the other day. She said her website is back up. Let's see if that's working. Yep, there it is, 976neon.com. Maybe she's going to start doing shows again. But yeah, I have a ton of things in this archive so far. Much more than is in the old 2014 archive. And I'm hoping to get it done by the end of this year. It's probably going to be a couple months because I've got a lot going on over the next month or two. If you can help, though, please do email me at show at snowplowshow.com. One more thing before we start, it is apparently a milestone for the Snowplow Show YouTube channel. Everyone in the comments this past week has been saying happy 10,000 subscribers because we've hit 10,000 subscribers on the Snowplow Show channel. I forgot to notice because I'm like, psh, whatever. I've got 34,000 on the main PLA channel. Who cares about this dumb little 10,000? And I was looking at my personal channel, which is youtube.com slash rbcp. Apparently it has 10,000 now too, and I think it just hit 10,000 because it's at 10,260 today. Probably all from little kids watching my stupid hamster maze video. That thing has 3.1 million views and I can't even monetize it. I had to turn off the comments on it because all these grade schoolers are yelling at me about being a bad hamster owner. Why am I even talking about this? Anyway, yes, thank you everyone that's wished me a happy 10,000K on the Snowplow Show channel. Thank you, everybody that listens to this show on the Snowplow Show channel, because you don't know any better, because you don't use a podcast app like a normal human being. 
That opening prank that I played today, the one where I called a pet co and said I was with the corporate office, joined my improv comedy troupe, that was from back in, I think, 2017. I happened to cross that on YouTube today and noticed it had a lot of the same clips as that intro song that JD put together in 2017. And it reminded me of the good old days of calling up businesses and asking them for corporate favors. So I think that's what I'm going to do today, right now. I'm going to call up businesses and I'm going to ask them for corporate favors because I'm with the corporate office, goddammit. And whatever I want, I get. Domino's North. Hi, this is uh, Adam Pisces from the corporate office. How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, I'm in town right now and uh, I just need someone to watch my dogs. I'm going to bring my dogs by. Uh, It's two Doberman Pinschers. They're just going to be there in your store Uh, for a couple hours. Yeah, you're going to have to talk to the GM. One second. Ah. Thank you for holding this, Joel. How can I help you today? Hey, Joel. This is Adam from the corporate office with Domino's. Okay. Uh, I was just letting him know I'm going to bring my dogs by. I have two Doberman Pinschers. They're just going to be staying at your store for a couple of hours. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? Well, animals can't stay here, man. I'm not going to watch your dogs for you. Oh, no, I'm from the corporate office. You have to. It's just going to be for a no, few. No, I don't. It's just going to be for a few hours. I'm, I'm going to see some friends. How about this? Call Glenn, our franchisee. Have him call me and approve it, and then we'll go from uh, there. How, okay? about, how about you call Glenn? I ain't your goddamn secretary. I'm bringing my dogs over. Well, then I'm going to let your dogs out onto the street then. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. No, Watch. you can't. Bring them by. Uh, if you do, you're fired. Holy shit. That guy would be a shitty dog owner. Domino's Pizza, is this pickup or delivery? Oh, hi. This is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Okay, how can I help you? Um, well, I was just calling to let you know I'm, I'm, I'm in town right now. I'm going to be uh, dropping my, um, my baby daughter off. Uh, she's just going to stay there in the store for a couple of hours. I've got some things to do around town. Oh, I don't think that we would be able to do that. I'm sorry, you're from corporate? Yeah, yeah, I'm with the corporate office with Domino's. No, it, it's fine. Uh, she's really easy to to take care of. Um, you know, she's you just got to give her a bottle and, and give her some food. Give her pizza. I don't care. Just, uh, you know, just be three. <laughs> well, that went worse than the dog thing. Shit. Um, how you doing? This is James. How may I help you? Well, th- this is Adam Pisces. I'm with the corporate office with Domino's. Okay, you want to speak to Brad? This is um his co um employees in in the store. James, hold on, he's with a customer. I I'll tell Brad in a minute, sir. Okay, tell Brad, please. Brad. Brad. This is corporate. Hey, calling Domino's. This is Brad. I'm gonna help you. Hey, Brad. This is Adam Pisces from the corporate office. Hey, how are you doing today? Pretty good. I'm just uh, calling to let you know I'm gonna I'm in town right now, and I need to borrow your car. My car? Yeah, yep. If I could just get the keys from you, I'll just be gone for maybe two or three hours tops. I got um, I gotta go make a delivery, I, uh, if you know what I mean. A delivery of my own. I'm so confused. Yeah, I just need to borrow um, borrow your car. I'll I'll put gas in it. Um. Uh, yeah, I can't loan my car out. What are you, what are you talking about? I, I need to make a delivery, um, you know, just to some some people. I owe them some money. I just need to make a quick delivery. I'm just in town for a little bit. They didn't have any rental cars available, so I'm just going to borrow yours. Uh, I, my car is... I cannot have anybody drive my car. I don't even drive for the company. Right, yeah. No, this isn't like a pizza delivery. This is a different kind of delivery. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want no part of it. Well, no, I, I, I'm i from the corporate office. You have to let me borrow your car. Sir, that's... <laughs> it don't work that way. You can't borrow my car. Um. Okay, well, what employee's car can I borrow? I'll, I'll borrow one of the driver's cars. Or okay. Ma- maybe, uh, we're ma- very busy today. Maybe I can ride along with one of the delivery drivers, and then after he does his delivery, I'll have him go to these people's house. And he can be kind of like my, uh, um, you know, just my backup. Okay. Um, 
All right, give me one second. We're extremely, we're, I mean, I'm talking all the way to Swamps over here. I've got Nick, my supervisor here as well. Yeah, I'll be quick about it. I'll be quick. It's fine. Like, uh, I'll just take Would one you like of your... To talk to my supervisor? Not really. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to be there pretty soon. I'm in a taxi cab right now. And uh, just have one of your drivers ready to go with me. I'm going to bar um, borrow a driver okay. and a car. Unless you want to loan me your car. And then you won I won't take away any employees. No, I can't let anybody take my car. What, what's in your car that's so sketchy that you don't want me to see it? It's, it's my wife's car, man. No. Yeah, but so what? Like, she's not using it. Nobody's using it. It's just sitting there. Okay, um... It's a waste. Look... Excuse me, dude. Who are you? Can what? I can I ask your name? Yeah, I already told you. My name is Adam Pisces. It just seems like a waste. Your car is just sitting there, and I need to borrow a car. I'm with corporate. All right, man. I really don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. You can come in and talk to me. We can have a conversation, well, man to man. I, but I don't appreciate I do not you have not loaning. Right talk on the phone. I don't appreciate you not loaning me your damn car. Okay. First of all, I don't like how you're talking to me at all. And you need a... Who is this? I've told you, this will be the third time. My name is Adam Pisces. With that, that's enough playing games, man. What, who is this? What do you mean playing games? I'm not playing games. I just need to borrow a damn car. You want to you wanna cuss at you? Why are you cussing? I'm not cussing. I just said damn. It's, not, it's barely even a cuss word. All right, hold on. Let me ask my driver. Hold on. All right. We're looking for great drivers and managers to join our winning team. I think I convinced Our him. drivers routinely earn up to $20 per hour. It's a great day at Domino's. This is Nick. How can I help you? Hey, Nick. Is this one of the drivers? It's not. Oh, okay. It's a supervisor. How I, can I help you? I thought you? he said he's getting a driver. Uh, this is Adam Pisces. I'm from the corporate office with Domino's. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in there in about uh, 15 minutes. I just need to borrow someone's car. So do you have a car there? We don't. Well, no, no, like a personal car. You, I just need to borrow someone's car, or if there's a delivery driver, I can just, uh, you know, ride with him. I just need to go go pick something up. You need to pick what up? Uh, it's none of your business. It's corporate business. Okay, well, I mean, it is my business if you're going to be taking one of my driver's cars. What's your corporate ID number? Uh, you don't need that. I'll show you my ID when I get there. But this is Adam Pisces. Adam Pisces? Correct. But so, you won't give me your corporate badge number? Here, can you write something down real quick? Yeah. Okay, it's 566-7375. Okay, well, it's definitely not. So we're not going to be lending any of our Wait, cars. What do you so mean it's definitely you not? Did you write it down? Read it back. I didn't write it down. Why didn't you write but it down? The, the number, told, because the number's too long. No, that's my social security number. Well, why would you give out your social security number? Because I was trying to get you to write it down. Why would I write your social security number down? So I don't know what you're trying to do, but you really need to quit calling my stores and telling them that and saying things. Why are you saying that like it's, is, uh, I've done this to multiple places? Because my other store just called me and said that Adam Pisces was coming to drop their kid off to watch from the corporate office. Yeah, and, and that's taken so, care of, and after that I'm going to need to borrow a car. They wouldn't let me borrow their car. Their car. Right, because it's against our policy. Yeah, but I'm from corporate. Like, the policies don't apply to me. They do. No, they don't. I make the policies. I'm you the... don't. So, who who's your direct boss at corporate? Uh, it's none of your business. Like, we're all above you, so you don't need to know anything. I just need to borrow a damn okay. car. Okay, well... I worked for corporate last week before I came to work for this franchise. So oh, so you worked for corporate for one week. That that means you didn't really work for corporate. For 14 months, actually. Yeah, that's still nothing. So, I've been there for like eight years. You don't know anything. So who are some of your who are some of your bosses? Oh, I don't have to tell you that. We're all above you. That's all that matters. I just need to borrow a car. 
Okay, well, we're not going to do it here, so maybe try another pizza chain. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. My, my, my taxi's almost there, though. Like, I'll be there soon. Okay. All right, bye. See you soon. Bye. Domino, is this a delivery or pickup? Oh, well, this is uh, Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm calling to let you know uh, I'm on my way by there right now and maybe dropping off my son. Uh, he's 13 years old. Um, he just needs one of the employees there to, uh, he's going to do batting practice with him. We just need someone to throw a ball to him and he's going to try and hit it. Just for about an hour while I do some corporate business. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and is there going to be someone there available that can throw the ball to him? Uh, yeah, there should be. We've got quite a few people here. Okay, it's not overly busy or anything? I know it's Friday and all. Uh, no, not really. We've okay. had a couple of rushes. Okay, great. That's good to hear. Um, and uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Adam Pisces. I'm with the corporate office with Domino's. Okay. Adam. All righty. Yep, and uh, yeah, we'll be there pretty soon. It's just He's just going to be there for maybe three hours total. Just needs to get some uh, uh, batting practice in. All righty. If you get busy, you can put him to work, but uh, for the most part, it'd be good if he could just get some batting practice. All righty. We'll All right. be here. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Thank you. I'm just going to drop All him right. off. Bye. Well, she seemed like she believed it. Probably didn't, though. Thank you for choosing Domino's. We'll speak for delivery or carry out. Oh, hello. This is uh, Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm calling to let you know I'm in town right now. And I, I used to be a Domino's Pizza, you know, just a regular employee worker person. But before I was yes, a sir. corporate, I, I, I just want to come in and, and just work for a while, maybe work an entire shift. Here, would you like to speak to my manager? Uh, well, just let him know I'm going to come in and I'm going to be an employee for the rest of the night. For the rest of the night, okay. Um, Is it a big deal if one, I wear a suit? I'm going to be wearing a suit. Uh, one second, sir. Let me get my manager real quick. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, Jeff. Okay, come on. Uh, dude, dude from corporate is on the phone, and he says he's coming in to work a shift. So... David, you might want to it. It's a guy from corporate. He said he's coming in to work. Uh, this is assistant manager. How can I help you? Oh, hey there. It's Adam Pisces from the corporate office. I'm, I'm in town right now. And I just, uh, you know, I used to work at a Domino's. And I just basically just want to relive my youth for a little bit. So I'm going to come in there and work for a shift. I can work. Uh, no, sorry. If you're, if if you're, I'm sorry. I gotta go. What? Wait. What? No. What was that in the background? Somebody was yelling about me. I think that was weird. That was an idea that Mr. Biggs just suggested to me. I think I'm gonna try that one again. Thank you for calling Domino's Pizza. This is Laura. Will this be for delivery or carry out? Hey, Laura. Uh, this is Adam Pisces. I'm with the corporate office with Domino's. All right. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm in town right now, and I'm gonna be come. I'm gonna be coming by and working an entire shift with you all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, would you like to speak to my manager? Uh, I guess so. Okay. I don't really get along uh, with management. Tom, th it is Tom. Can I help you? Hey, Tom. Uh, this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna be coming in there in a little bit. I'm just gonna work an entire shift. Just, uh, I, I used to work in a Domino's, uh, you know, back when I was younger, and uh, I basically just want to relive my youth. So I'm in town. So I'm okay. Gonna... Have you have you spoke with the, Have you spoke with? Uh, no, I don't even know who that is. But no, it's fine. Uh, he's it... my district manager. I'm gonna go and give you his number, and you can call and check with him. No, no, uh, it's okay. To, like any... I, no, I don't do stuff like that. I'm with corporate. Uh, I'm just gonna come yeah, in. I'm I'm, sorry. I just I just want to make pizzas. That's all. No, it won't happen today at this store, sir. I apologize. Why not? I'll have to get clearance is, from my owner. Is it because uh, that's not our procedure? Well, is it because I'm wearing not our procedure? Is, is it because I'm wearing a suit? Like I, I can. Oh uh, no, sir. You can let me borrow. I, a, I have to go, sir. You can let me borrow a shirt. I have to shirt. go, and I will call my manager. Have a great day. Look, I, just, I just, I just, I just want to work. 
Maybe he thought he was going to have to pay me. I need to specify that they do not have to pay me. It's fine. Hi, thank you for calling Domino's. This is for delivery or carry out. Oh, hi. This is Adam Pisces. I'm with the corporate office with Domino's. Okay, I'll go grab a manager really quick. Okay. Uh, why do you need, do you just need something from me or? Um, well, can you write down a number real quick? Do you have a piece of paper to write on? Um, yeah, let me grab one really quick. Uh, okay. Okay, what's the number? It is 566. Seven, okay. 73. 51. Okay. 40. Four zero. Can you read it back? Okay, is that the entire number? Yeah, can you read that back? Five six six seven three five one four zero. Yep, that's it. That's my social security number. Yeah, could I talk to your manager now? Okay. Thank you. Oh what? He just hung up without saying anything. Okay, I won't do that again. No more giving out my social security number. Thank you for calling Domino's Delivery Care. Oh. What? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. This is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's? Yes. Is this the manager? Speaking right now. Um, oh. I, one of two managers at the moment. He's on the make line. Sorry, I had a little hiccup there. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Hey, um, I'm in town right now, and uh -huh. I used to work at a Domino's. I basically just want to come in and work for a shift and just kind of relive my youth. <laughs> uh, let me talk to the uh, GM. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, a gentleman here wants to talk to you. He's from the corporate office. He wants to come in and work one shift and relive his youth. Damien speaking. I'm helping. Hey there. Uh, this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, I guess he let you know. I, I just want to come in and work an entire shift while I'm in town just to kind of relive my youth. Because I used to work at Domino's when I was much younger yeah um that shouldn't be i mean i'd have to contact my area supervisor oh, i'm on my way over i'm on my way over i'll be there in like uh 15 or 20 minutes you yeah want? we're not allowed to do that well, without having a proper supervision well, you're, from you're, my boss you're not gonna have to pay me no i am from above i'm from the corporate office i'm with domino's corporate this is adam pisces yeah i'd still have to call my boss man yeah that's fine call your boss but i'm gonna be there in 20 minutes uh, I'm in a suit. Um, like I, I can change into one of those shirts if you want me to. All right, yeah, I'll call my boss. Is this the number I can reach you back at? Yep, yep, this is the one. Uh, also, um, I'm the kind of employee that kind of gets up to hijinks. So, uh, what? I'm sorry. Kind of gets up to hijinks, so I might be, uh, uh, you know, enlisting some of the other employees to do pranks and stuff on each other. Oh, no, we don't do that, man. We're pretty busy on the first of the month, man. Oh, I, mean, I know, but, uh, you know, it's it's just something something I like to do. Just occasional hijinks. It, you know, it, it improves morale and stuff. All right, well, I'll try to get in contact with my boss, and I'll give you a call back. Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes, though. All right. Um, hey, d don't mention the hijinks to him, though. I, that was just between me and you. All right. Yeah, the, the hijinks, um, like they they won't cause any major problems. It just, in, in the end, it all balances out. All right. Well, thanks, sir. Okay. Um, hey, can we just put them on three-way? No. I'll call you right back. Uh, can I have you write down a number? Yeah, I've got your 419 phone number here. I know, but uh, I have a different number. All right. What's the phone number? Uh, no, it's not a phone number. It's a different number. What's a what number? It's a here. Just write this down: five six six seven three five one four zero. All righty. And what's that called? Uh, that's my social security no number. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Why are you writing it down? It's private. Okay, so Dr. Astronaut started doing this thing recently where he calls up people and just out of nowhere he gives them his social security number. And it's actually not his social security number, it's Rappy McRapperson's real life social security number. 
the one from that song that he sings, which is titled 566-73-5140 Boogie. That's Rappy's real social security number. I've confirmed it. We talked about this on the Hang Up the Phone show the other day. And actually, I was on Devin's show right before the Hang Up the Phone show. And we did a few of those social security number calls on there. And it was kind of fun just asking people, what the fuck? Are you an identity thief? Why are you writing down my social? I'm going to need you to eat that piece of paper. So that is the reason that I keep giving out my social security number. Or I mean, Rappy McRapperson's social security number. But all it does is immediately make people hang up. So I need to cut that out. Not going to do it again. Job. Thank you for calling Domino's. How many help you? Hey there. Is this the manager? This is not. Okay. Uh, give me one second. All right. Hi, this is Chris. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Chris. This is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. All righty. Uh, I'm calling to let you know I'm in town right now, and I- I'm going to be coming to your store in a little bit. Um, how many employees do you have working there tonight? Uh, let's see, including drivers and all? Yeah. About. Uh, I'm going to put you on hold, and I'm going to get back to you on that. Uh, well, it's not. I don't need the exact numbers. No big deal. Uh, I'm just going to be coming there, though, and I'm going to give a motivational speech to everyone. We've got 12 employees here. Okay, 12 employees. I'm going to be there in about 20 minutes, and I'm going to give an, a motivational speech to everybody. Gotcha. You, you know where they make the pizzas, the pizza dough stuff? Yes. I'm going to stand on that and give a speech. All righty. Um, and it's going to get pretty animated. I'm going to... I may curse. Um... I don't curse in real life, but it's just for the sake of the speech. I'm going to say curse words. I'm actually a nice guy. Gotcha. And I may uh, kick some things over while I'm yelling. But it's just right. it's just for just for dramatic effect. It's not a big deal. It's I, I just you know I need to beat the message into them into those employees. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, about 20 minutes. Motivational speech coming coming at your store. See you then. And it, it's okay if I stand on the counter, right? I've got rubber soled shoes on, so I won't slip off. Um, I guess that wouldn't be entirely my decision. Right, it's mine because I'm with corporate. I'm Adam Pisces. Gotcha. But I'm wearing a suit with black shoes and everything, but they're rubber soled shoes. I'm gonna throw things around and yell and curse. Alrighty. All right. Are you looking forward to it? Are you pumped? I couldn't be more excited. I'm going to whip your employees into shape. Not literally, just, you know, with, with my words. All righty. Okay. Can I, can I bring you, can I, can I bring you up on the counter with me? It would be my pleasure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That, that'll help me uh, be less nervous. See you then. All right, bye. I don't think he's buying it. That's another Biggs idea. Whenever I talk to him during the day and I tell him what I'm doing, he starts throwing ideas at me, and they're awesome, and I, I just have to do them. If he doesn't stop, the show's just going to go on forever. Now he's wanting me to tell managers that delivery drivers are going to have to also deliver Amazon packages tonight. But first, I want to try a motivational speech with a manager that uh, does not approve of me standing on the pizza-making counter in my shoes. I should have told him I had dog crap on my shoes. Thank you for calling Domino's. I can help you. Hello, is this the manager there? Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to talk to me? Over there, over there, over there. Huh? Oh, you were mumbling. I was trying to speak your language. I said, do you want to talk to one? Oh, yes, please. Choices are hard. Let's make one decision easier. Dom- Tim, come on, Domino's. This is Tyler. I can help you. Hey there. Uh, this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Hi, how's it going? Pretty good. Um, I'm in town right now. I'm going to be coming over to your place. Okay. And I'm going to give a motivational speech to all of the employees there. All right. I'm going to stand up on the counter. Oh, um, I'd rather you not do that one, but... Oh, no, it's fine. I'm from the corporate office. Uh, I've, I've got uh, rubber-soled shoes on. I won't slip off. 
It's fine. I'm gonna. Yeah, but I, I do have food that sits on that counter. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna stand on the the one where they make the pizza dough. I'm gonna stand up on that one. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna get very animated. Uh, I'm gonna yell at everyone. Not, I mean, in a good way, in a good way. But I'm, <laughs> I may curse and stuff. Hey, <laughs> it's well, alrighty. Um. But, like, uh, do, can you put up some pizza boxes over there by where they make the pizzas if there's not any already? Because I'm most likely going to sweep those off the counter in a fit of rage. A fit of, you know, dramatic rage for the sake of the Yeah, yeah. Speech. Do you want me to build you a throne as well? No, no, no. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, That's crazy. <laughs> All right. So, just one second. Yep. I'm going right, to be pacing back and forth, though, on the pizza making counter and giving my speech. Okay. And um, possibly. I'm so confused because this is an actual Domino's number. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm calling from the Domino's corporate office. I'm, it's through the phone service, so it comes up with this number. Yes, sir. So. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, so when, when can I expect you? Uh, in about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes? Yep. All right, man, I'll get everything in order for you. Okay, I've got my two uh, infant um, children with me. Uh, <laughs> do, are you good with babies? Um, I used to be a preschool teacher, so yeah. Okay, they didn't have babies in grade school, but I, I, I'll take your word for it. I'm, uh, I, I have everything you need. Okay, uh, you and what just, was your name again? Uh, my name is Adam Pisces. Adam what? Adam Pisces. Adam, okay. Adam Pisces. All right, man. I will... Adam Pisces. Uh... I'm trying to actually see your name here on a uh, Reddit. You see my name on Reddit, Adam with Domino's. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm I'm the top motivational speaker for Domino's on this half of the Is country. That true? Yep. You can read all about me uh, on there. You got a podcast right here? Is this what I'm looking at? Uh, oh no, that's the Reply All podcast. They did a story about me. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you got to well. listen to it. Uh, you'll you'll get an idea of what's in store. Okay, so is this like is this a kind of a prank call or? No, why would you say that? Well, because it's it's obviously not legitimate. I I don't know why you would think that. Like, what what's not legitimate about this? Um. Well, you want to stand on my counter, so. At what point See, did you stop believing it? Um. Ah, shoot! I don't know. I, I, I think whenever you said you were going to stand on the counter and, you know. Huh. So, I, man, you got a lot of, uh, the, okay. So, is this a YouTube channel of yours? A lot of, what are you talking about? Like, a lot of what? Well, okay, right here. If, I, if you search your name. Yeah. Just, just your name. You order a lot of Cokes. Well, yeah, like, you don't know about that? Like, it, it's a test we do. It's, uh, it's a corporate office thing. <laughs> so, here, would you actually like to speak to my franchisee? He's actually here at the moment. Uh, no, just let him know I'm on my way over for the motivational speech. I can talk to him when I get there. Well, that's so. great, because I'm actually a general manager as well, so. Oh, okay. la di da so, Anything else I could help you with there, uh, uh, Adam? Adam? Nope, nope, just have all the pizza boxes ready and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Get hey, man, so where can I hear this uh, call at? You're what? I'm sorry? Where, where can I hear this re recorded version of the call? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not recording this call. Uh, okay. So, uh, anything else I can have, have ready for you, man? Uh, no, I'm not a ma'am. I'm a sir. I, I said man, sorry. No, you said ma'am. I'm a sir. I did. Anyway, right. yeah, I'm, I'll be there soon. Okay, man. Have a good one. All right. Bye. All right. Damn it. This isn't working out anywhere. So I've been saying I'm Adam Pisces for a reason. Because a few months ago, I guess it was, I can't remember. It was at some point this year. The Reply All podcast did this story about this weird Adam Pisces character that calls up random dominoes all over the country and orders a Coke or something. I Actually, I can't remember how the story even goes. I just know it's like this bizarre thing. He calls in, uses the name Adam Pisces every time, or maybe it's an online order. He orders a $2 Coke and he never shows up. 
and nobody's completely sure why it happens. It has something to do with some sort of a scam. I'm sure that's what he was talking about on Reddit. And I thought that would cause more of a thing with Domino's employees. I thought they would notice the name Adam Pisces, but nobody's said anything yet. Or actually one of the first calls I did, that guy was yelling at him to hang up. I was kind of wondering if maybe that's because of the name I chose. So that's the reason I'm using a weird name called Adam Pisces. Now I kind of want to go back and listen to that Reply All episode so I can remember what it's about. I, I should link to it in the show notes, though. I'll try to remember to do that. But if I don't, just search for the Adam Pisces Domino's Reply All episode. Thank you for calling Domino's. Hello, is this the manager? Uh, no, would you like to speak to the manager? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. I'm calling from the All corporate right. office. This is Adam Pisces. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Just hold on one moment, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's make one decision easier. Domino's marble. Oh, look at that. I just got hung up on. I was put on hold for quite a while. I'm sure I'll edit that down a little bit. But see, the Adam Pisces name is doing something for me. It's making me get hung up on. Some people recognize it. Thank you for calling Domino's. This is Shana speaking with us to carry out a delivery. Um, well, th this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office. Is the manager in? Yes, let me go see where he's at. Okay. Sorry to hold this. Is Danny, how may I help you? Hey, Danny, this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Okay. And um, I needed to let you know I'm, I'm in town right now. I'm going to be uh, stopping by and giving a motivational speech to all of the employees. Okay. Uh, I'll be like uh, standing up on the counter and, uh, you know, just kind of giving a speech for uh, it might last maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Um, you're going to be standing on my counter? Yep. Yep. I'll be standing on the counter. Like, you know, the counter where they make the pieces where they actually make. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work for me. Oh, no, it's fine. It's I'm with the corporate of office. I'm, I'm allowed yeah, to Yeah, cor corporate office. No. What do you That's mean? Corporate office or not, you, you can't be standing on my on my counter. No, look, look, I'm bringing a celebrity with me. It's going to be a special treat. The employees will appreciate it. There's going to be two no, of us. There's going to be two of us standing on the counter. No, I don't and, think so. Oh no, there definitely is. There, there's no no thank you about it. We're, I'm with the corporate office. I'm coming in. Yeah, well, I'm standing on the counter. Corporate office or not, that. You can you can stand on the floor, but there you won't be standing on the counter. No, we're gonna climb up on. The, like, I've got a celebrity with me. You can't tell the celebrity not to get on the counter. I I can and I will. Oh uh, no, you can't. You know who the? Uh, it's Carrot Top. You're gonna tell Carrot Top he can't get on the counter. Absolutely. Well, he's but not. He's not I'll, I'll 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 be sure to let my I'll be sure to let my owner know. Thank you so he's, much. He's but. not gonna listen. He's not gonna listen. Carrot Top does what he wants. Now I just kind of want to do motivational speaker calls for the rest of the show. I should do an entire show of these sometime. Thanks for holding. This is Amanda speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Amanda. Uh, this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, did Did you hear about the uh, we're teaming up with, with Amazon? No. Oh, okay. Uh, UPS, they're on their way over right now. They're going to drop off a bunch of boxes, and your delivery drivers okay. are going to have to help deliver them. They're going to have to help deliver them? Yeah, deliver the boxes. Like for every pizza they take out, maybe they'll need to deliver a couple boxes too to random people around the city. Okay. I was not informed of this. Yeah. Um, they, they may have forgot to send the email out. Sorry about that. But it's just going to be a new thing. It's, okay. it's going to be a new thing. From now on, UPS is going to come by every night and drop off a bunch of boxes, and your drivers are going to have to deliver them all. Okay. It'll, it'll, so, it'll cut into their gas money and uh, I guess, you know, delivery times, but it, at least we're saving a bit of money here at corporate. So they're going to drop them off at night? Yeah, yeah. There might be some. You can, you know, you can do them all day tomorrow, too, but you have to do them by tomorrow at least because it's a uh, two-day delivery. I, I don't have any boxes here right now. Oh no! And nobody's come by yet. Oh it yeah, hasn't started. I, I, yeah, no. I, I think they're tonight's going to be the first night. Uh, UPS is on their way. They're going to bring over about a hundred boxes, a hundred pack, a okay. hundred packages to be delivered all over town tomorrow. Right? No, tonight they're going to be there tonight. You got to start tonight. 
For every pizza they take out, just have them deliver a few boxes. Okay. They don't I e- will let them know. They don't even have to knock on the door. They can just throw it up on the porch. Okay. And Amazon, Perfect. Amazon, so. Amazon encourages them to uh, throw them on the porch from the street. Do they really? Yeah, that's the way it's done. It's like, okay. It's like newspapers. All right. Well, I guess I will let them know. All right. Great. Thank you. Um, yeah. The, you, sh- you should get the email soon. I'm sure your district manager will let you know about it. Okay. Awesome. I'll reach out to him to see. Okay. You may have to let your employees know they're going to have to work extra late tonight. They might be up till five in the morning delivering Amazon packages. Are they really? Well, you know, there's going to be like a hundred of them. We got to get them all delivered. It's two day delivery. Okay. Yep. All right. I will let them know then. Okay. All right. Yep. Get everyone Thank prepared you. for when that UPS truck gets okay. there. Okay. I will right. do that. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. There we go. Someone finally believes it. I don't even know if I'm going to save those other calls where I tried that one. This is Sandy. How may I help you today? Hey, Sandy. Uh, this is Adam Pisces from the corporate office with Domino's. Yeah, what can I do for you? Uh, I was calling to let you know I'm in town right now. I'm going to be stopping by your location here in just a little bit, and I'm a, I'm going to give a moti- okay. I'm going to give a motivational speech to all of the employees there. Okay. Uh, are you wearing a Domino's uniform or? Yeah. Well, I'm in a suit. Okay. But um, I have a gotcha. minor a minor celebrity with me. Um, do you know who Carrot Top is? Nope, have no clue. Okay, he's a comedian. Uh, he's going to be uh, giving the motivational speech with me. We're going to be standing up on the counter. Um, like on, I don't know if that's such a good idea with uh, customers coming in and uh, full screens. Yeah, well, they'll they'll be uh, just so enamored with uh, the the idea that Carrot Top is in there that they won't even notice that we're on the counter that they make pizzas on. Mm-hmm. So it'll be okay. fine. Uh, I'll probably be, uh, you know, we're just going to be very animated and uh, just uh, giving a motivational speech to the employees. Okay. And um, pro- All right. probably uh, a carrot top gets a little crazy. He'll probably like p- be picking up food and throwing it at people and stuff. Oh, please don't do that because my um, food costs will go up. So oh, that's a big no. We'll take care of it. It's hard to say no to Carrot Top. He just kind of does what he wants. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. I'll tell him not to throw too much food. But most likely, he like in other places we've done this, he has picked up handfuls of you know just sausage or pepperoni or whatever and thrown it at people. As he delivers his uh, motivational speech. Gotcha. Just to um, kind of keep people on their toes. Uh, why hasn't my MCO told me about this? Because uh, I'm not sure they should have. We've been doing this at all the locations in the state. Have you? Yeah. Okay. And what's your name again? Uh, my name is Adam Pisces. Adam Pisces? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll give my MCO a call just to make sure that... We're okay with this. Okay, all right. I I haven't heard about I haven't heard anything about it, and it just sounds off. So yeah. I've been with Domino's for six years. I see. Yeah, yeah. We'll be there in about twenty minutes, though. We're probably gonna be. Uh, I don't know. If, like, there's pizza boxes up there. We'll probably kick them over, just for dramatic effect. And gotcha. Um, just so you know, I do curse, and I curse loudly. Uh, please don't. I do not allow that at all in my store. Yeah, but it's a motivational speech. No, not even during a motivational speech. That should not be allowed in a business. It's not the bad curse words. It's just, uh, you know, it's just the, the, it's it's not the blasphemous ones. Like what? Uh, like I'm not going to say God damn it or Jesus Christ. I don't want the F one or the B one or anything like that either. Okay, I won't, but I can't uh, vouch for Carrot Top. Carrot Top is, uh, he's kind of a loose cannon. I will not. I understand that, but let him know to be respectful and not to do that because I have customers in here and I do not agree with that. And I tell my employees they're not allowed to do that. So if I'm setting an example, I think motivational speakers should also set an example too. Okay. Well, it's hard to tell Carrot Top what he can do because he's a loose cannon. He's a big celebrity. He does shows in Vegas. 
All right. Well, um, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to call my MCO, okay? Okay. All right. We'll see you soon. All right. For thanks. For the mo motivational speaking. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. I hope she tells the district guy that Carrot Top's going to be there with me. He'll probably be like, well, if Carrot Top's with him, then yeah, let him do what he wants. He's fucking Carrot Top. Nobody says no to Carrot Top. I think I'm going to be done with these for, for now, but man, I really want to do an entire show of just motivational speeches. Not just with Domino's either, with every place. Thank you, Mr. Biggs, for the motivational speech idea. Hello, Brad. It's Patrick from Illinois. Hey. And I just got back from vacation. I was gone for 10 days. Good for you. We went to Pennsylvania. It was a great trip. And I come home and I got two shows to listen to. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I, now, I know that too. you live in Oregon. 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 I don't know. I'm yeah. Saying. Yeah. But I know that you've you also live in Illinois. lived in Illinois and a handful of other places. What was your favorite place to live? I have all those different locations. Hell if I if know. you could pick any yeah. of them, where would you go back what kind to? Of question is that? I'm currently in Illinois, and I know that you've lived here before, and you've made mention of that on occasion. So. I think that's pretty cool, but uh, hey, if there's one spot that you really prefer to be at, let me know. All right. Have a good week. Okay. Bye. I'm kind of suspicious of Patrick. I think that Riley Mix put him up to this question because he was asking similar questions in the PLA Facebook group, saying he's thinking about moving. He wants to know what the best place to live is. I guess he wasn't asking that, but whatever. I really like Oregon. I like the Northwest. I can see myself staying in the Northwest forever. I have very little desire to go back to the Midwest at all. Fuck that climate. Maybe Texas, though. I miss Texas, but the Northwest is kind of nice. I might stick around here for another decade or two. Maybe. We'll see. I don't Hello, know. Hello, Brad. It's Micro Corgi. Hey, um, Micro Corgi. Just wanted to actually... I would like to apologize for blowing you up in Grand Theft Auto today. I did not mean to do that. I am very, very sorry. Please don't hate Give me. Give you a dumb bit of trivia. That song you played in Hobo Sub 193, Heads Will Roll. Mm -hmm. Do you know what keyboard they used? That would be a micro cord. Oh, shit. It's in the video and everything. It's really cool. Okay. But also... I don't know what the fuck a micro cord is. I know I but... keep hearing people saying they're calling from the St. Louis area. If anybody knows where I can get a payphone, I really want one. I've only seen one in the area, and the guy wants like $700 for it, and that's bullshit. Yeah. So if anybody is... knows where I can get a payphone, just like, I want to know. Okay. So... Have Anyone, one, please let Micro Corgi know. Leave the information in the comments on YouTube or on the website or wherever else you listen to this. Or call into the voicemail and let Micro Corgi know where to get a payphone. I got my first payphone from Bell South. They decided to get out of the payphone business, I think, in 2004, maybe, or 2003. I can't remember, but I paid 80 bucks for the payphone. They mailed it to me for 80 bucks. And I'm pretty sure the entire $80 went to shipping because those things are heavy. I always see them in antique stores for hundreds of dollars, but they're usually rotary dial phones. So I don't know. I don't know where to get one. Hey, Brad. It's calling. I'm calling from deep in the heart of Texas. Okay. Hey, uh, really dumb question, but do you think you'll ever run out of phone numbers to call? Like, do you ever think that, you know, there'll just be everybody just called or anything like that? Maybe. I don't know. It's probably a dumb question, but yeah. just wanted to get your thoughts on it. Oh, also... By the time I do, those people at those numbers that I pranked, they will have had kids, and they'll be starting out their lives with their own phone numbers, you know, their own landlines, because we'll still be using landlines then. You know, it's an endless cycle, and I guess I could always start calling the UK if I really need to. For the, uh, the radio show thing, the, the gerbil... What? Uh... Why don't you say it's a birthday scam? A lot of people think it's that sort of thing. Even though it's not their birthday, just say, hey, it's a birthday scam or whatever, okay? Okay. Anyways, see great, you later. That's great idea. Following. Oh, fuck. Hey, Roy. It's Rico. Okay. Hey, Roy. Hey, hey man, coming at you live here. I don't know why our paths have crossed. I don't know why you were born. I don't know. Well, okay, your parents fucked. Well... I'm glad you were born, man. That's Thanks nice. For all the Thanks, Rico. I really hope you're enjoying that marijuana. It sounds great. You have a nice day. It's me. Oh, shit. Wait, I started too early. Listen. Hey, you dirty hooker. It's me, Gary Busey. Why is everyone my mean best to me? in the whole world. Redbeard, comma, RC, comma, junior. Uh, we really long intros in today's voicemails. All, we're, at, we're at Tim's Ford State Park. Because suddenly, Dad likes kayaking. 
and um, <laughs> we saw a payphone, and we wanted to call you on the payphone, but you know, it's 2019, and that shit's been gone for a while now, bro. So it didn't work. So we said, okay, we'll just call him anyways. Darn. Say hi, miss you, love you so much. But you're not calling from a payphone. Please return my calls. No. Uh, I'm. I really need that. All right, help. thanks. Bye, Gary Busey. Look, this person didn't have a problem calling from a payphone in 2019. Hi, Chad. It's Chad. Hey, Chad. The payphone at the strip mall in Laurel, Maryland. That's great. Three zero one seven two five nine two one nine. Bye. All right, everyone, call that payphone. Hopefully, he's not lying. Hey, Brad. It's Lex Uh I called about the shirt designs and stuff last episode um yeah i think i came off kind of negative uh i do really like the designs and everything you didn't come off negative i'm just good at twisting everything around and being a big asshole about everything um, i'm sorry but i was just uh, kind of saying like uh i know you had any ideas of something like uh, you know i could wear when i go downtown or something that's why i was talking about the minimalistic design just uh, something a little less in your face or whatever. Yeah, you know, the, the university looking shirts, the one that say established 1994, that's the one I like to wear. It looks kind of nondescript, but then people read it and they're like, what? What's that? That makes sense. Um, she's done design for uh, colleges and charities and yeah. stuff, so uh, we could get a really good logo. We should have her update the college design thing. Kind of why I was hoping for your input. Um, I really like some of the stuff that you have on there. I'm not hating on that at all. Because I know. I, I know. think it looks great. Um, so, just wanted to clear it's that not up. You, and it's like, me. Seriously, if you have any kind of ideas or reference to a famous call or something, let me know. Um, and also, a side note, I, I've been listening to older stuff. Uh, the Cause of Mass Confusion videos that you were doing with, I think, Jihad? Yeah, uh, that guy. I haven't been able to find those on YouTube. Are those still there? When I search, it looks like he made like a podcast that's really long. Oh, uh, maybe he took them all down again. I don't know what's going on with that. But if they're up, it is at youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. That's where to find calls of mass confusion, and they should be the most recent videos. And, um, I, I don't know. I didn't search too hard, but there's so much stuff on the calls of mass confusion channel. And I was hoping to find the ones where uh, you guys had the hidden cameras and... Uh, you made the calls while uh, they filmed it. I think it was him and Carlito. Um, yeah. I love your editing, Brad. I appreciate so much. Uh, I understand how much editing you do, and the shows are absolutely incredible. I've been binging Thank for you. the past three months, I think, and I've almost listened, almost listened to your whole catalog. But uh, please, keep it up. I love you, Brad. I will. All right. Cactus. Yeah, I'm looking on Giad's channel right now on his YouTube, and I see all of the Calls of Mass Confusion videos. They're all up still. If you just go to videos and look at the most recent ones, there are a ton of them up from eight months ago and nine months ago and a year ago, like both seasons, something like 75 videos total. They're all up there. It's under the name COMC, not Calls of Mass Confusion. More like titles of mass confusion. <laughs> hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. So I was listening to some older shows again, of course, like everyone should. And uh, yep. there's some calls where you said that you know you were micro, you know, sending microwave beams. Actually, that was on uh, the wonderful world of prank calls that you just played. Um, but then you know, there's other shows yeah. where you dug tunnels under apartment complexes or businesses or I whatever. remember well, all of this. On lots of the calls, as you know, people say, I'm going to call the police. I don't know about this. I'm calling the police. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that when they call the police and then let's say the dispatch actually sends officers to go, you know, see what's going on. You know that when it comes over the radio and the police officers hear, yeah, there's apparently, you know, microwave beams are coming down from space. And there's people digging tunnels. They just under think their the officer house. is you know, high. Officers are thinking, "Oh yeah, here's a mental case." Yeah. I wonder. Basically, Brad, I'm wondering how many people you think have gotten committed because of your prank calls. Have they just taken them down to the psych ward, or at least asked them some psychological evaluation questions? <laughs> Let's hope a lot. <laughs> All right, bye, bye. A lot of times, I actually do call the people back and say, "LOL, prank call." I mean, not a lot of times. On the old ones, I didn't do it as much. These days, I do, because I don't need the police getting involved in my stuff. But they probably talk with somebody else about it first. 
you know, a family member or a coworker, and that person tells them they're an idiot. That stuff isn't happening. That was just some crazy guy on drugs on the phone. That's all. Don't worry about it. Hi, Roy. This is Neo Web. I'm in my car right now. Uh, we're driving. We're going camping. I got my wife, my kid, and uh, my two dogs in my car. And my wife. Uh, Can you tell you know, her to shut up? Something earlier about your show that it's repetitive. And I, would, I just wanted to put her on the spot right now, you know, and just let her tell you that. But instead of actually telling you that your show's repetitive, she's flipping me off. So but I'll, wow. I'll tell you what I'll do, though. The next time uh, when you hear this message, I'll make sure that she plays, uh, or I'm sorry, that I play whatever you say to her. But it better be nice or you're going to get me in trouble. So don't fuck around, okay. man. Uh, have a great day. Goodbye. Well, I already told her to shut the fuck up. I don't know what else I could say. Tell her you really enjoy being married to her because she does a really great job in the kitchen and cooks a lot of really good meals and is very good at doing the dishes and keeping the floor mopped. That's not mean, right? I'm complimenting her. Hey, Brad, my name's Ann. I'm calling you from uh, Toronto, Canada. Mm -hmm. So this past uh, school year, um, I'm actually studying animal biology. And in one of my botany classes, my botany professor, he's about a 79-year-old gentleman. He's very old. Um, he started talking about cactus, you know, the reproductive cycles, their um, cell biology, all that type of stuff. And as soon as he started talking about that, I actually got up from my chair and I just, I knocked it down. And then I started screaming cactus and I couldn't stop through the whole class. I was screaming cactus, cactus, cactus. And he's just on the floor and long story short, uh, he fell security and I actually got kicked out of the university. So now I'm back yeah, home right. with my parents and I'm working uh, part-time in my local Swiss LA actually as a dishwasher. And on my free time, I just watch the Snowflower Show. So... I just want to say thanks, Brad, for ruining my team to becoming an animal biologist, and you can go fuck yourself. Thanks. Okay. Um, I'm very sorry for ruining everything for you. Hopefully, you can still afford to be a subscriber to the Snowplow Show on a dishwasher salary. I would really appreciate it if you can. Just like Gobi is and Brown Magic and I Regret Jumping, Serial Shitter, and Jason B. Those are the supporters of today's show over at patreon.com slash phonelosers and phonelosers.com slash support. By the way, everyone, you need to listen to the Mr. Big show that came out yesterday, but it's only on Patreon right now. I guess I should be mentioning this in a few days when he makes the show public, but not only because I used three of his ideas in today's show, but I guess he used at least two of my prank calls. His show is a thing where he usually takes clips of real talk radio shows and edits them around to make it sound like he's answering their calls, but really it's a call to a conspiracy show or something. I've always enjoyed those, but on this one, he took the audio from a couple of prank calls of mine, and I didn't remember either one of them. But here, I'm going to play a small clip of his exclusive Patreon content. I'm sure he's going to appreciate this. This is him giving advice to a Planet Fitness employee. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, way back there behind the counter, there should be a switch. It's labeled L-U-N-K. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to have you flip that, and we're going to leave it on for 60. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if it resets. Okay, so just leave it on for 60 seconds. Nah. Nah, 60 minutes. Go ahead and flip it. All right. Do it. All right, it's on. Yeah, that's how you know it's working. Sorry. Right. What were you saying? I said that's how you know it's working. Yeah. So there you go. Mr. Biggs doing a lunk alarm prank. That's the August 1st episode of Ask Mr. Biggs, episode number 34. And he said he used one of my other calls in there. I didn't even recognize which one because it's all mixed with talk radio and I can't remember any of my pranks. I don't even remember doing that lunk alarm prank. He swears it was mine. Maybe you guys can tell me which snowplow show that's from. But I will have a link to that post on Patreon. If you're a subscriber of his, if you're not, then you just have to wait a few days and it'll be on AskMrBiggs.com. I think that's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the show. Oh, and thanks, Daisy from Daisy's Dungeon for providing the birds for this episode. We've had more birds in this episode than in any other previous episode. I'm sure that everybody's really enjoyed that. So thank you, Daisy. You can find Daisy on Mixler at mixler.com slash Daisy's Dungeon. I'll put a link to that in the show notes. Amway Arena! Let's boogie.
Yeah. It's Friday night. Yeah. Hopped off the bus. Walk to the back. Oh, Starbucks, we got that hot stuff for you now. Starbucks, if only our spelling was as good as our coffee. Starbucks, we don't care how you spell your name. Subway, try our new peanut butter and jelly sub. Starbucks, putting the cough back in coffee. Domino's, at least we ain't Little Caesars. Starbucks, coming to a Starbucks near you. Starbucks, we got the hot stuff for your mouth. Subway, we have day-old bread every day. 